<clears throat> Hi, everybody. It's Sunday. It's a hot day here, very, very hot. In fact, I'm glad to be back in the house. We went out for a little while. Uh, we went to Outback, and that's one of my favorite restaurants, usually. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting old er, and less tolerant. I don't know. I've never had this problem before. I'm really, really, really easygoing. I don't know what's happened to me in the last month or so. We walk in the door, and there's three people ahead of us waiting at the check-in desk. No, there's no host behind the desk. Now, one thing I expect when I go to a restaurant is to be able to, I don't mind waiting in line to see the hostess and leave my name, and I don't mind waiting for a meal once I've checked in. But I do mind waiting to wait for somebody to be there so I can check in. After about five minutes, I said to the couple ahead of us, I said, where's, where's the deaf person? And he looked at me and he went, I don't know. He said she, he was going to go get a table ready for the woman that was ahead of him. I said, well, how long is she... He, has he been gone? And he said, oh, it's been a little while. Because, as I say, I had been standing there five minutes. Now, to not be acknowledged, there are other people in the restaurant. Finally, my husband went into the bar area of the restaurant and um, asked what was going on. Now, we still had to wait. Somebody said, oh, they must be busy. Well, yeah, but at least come out and say to us, the hostess will be with you in a moment. Don't ignore people standing there. I don't know, I don't know what's with businesses today. We've never had a problem there before. We've waited for quite a while for uh, to sit down or to get our meal once we sat down. But that, as I say, I can be patient for that. I've never had to wait to put my name in and to have no one there to do it. As I say, if the hostess is busy, send someone out to tell us. The hostess will be right with you. Five minutes waiting is too long to be not acknowledged. So anyway, finally, the host, some kid, comes out, steps behind the desk. Just as he did that, the, cust the, cust the couple ahead of us looked at him, turned around, and walked out the door. I wanted to applaud. I would have done the same thing, but... As I said before, I really like Outback. I was looking forward to trying something new on their menu. So I was going to stay no matter what, but I wasn't happy about the whole situation. So anyway, he called us up to the desk, and he sat us in the bar area. I don't care where we sit, but he's trying to tell us it's quieter in there. He just knew tables were ready in there. That's all he knew. I, as I say, I don't care where I sit. So when we sat down and when a waiter did come over, um, I complained to the waiter that the host was not at the desk. And, you know, sometimes you just want to be acknowledged for what you say and you don't want to song and dance about it. And he proceeds to tell me, well, it, you know, in an hour there'll be two people out at the desk and uh, he has other duties and, blah, you know, he's going on and on. I don't want excuses. I want to complain. I want something, 
somebody to say, oh, I'm sorry that happened to you. Thank you for telling us, and we'll try to correct it for next time. What I should have done is asked for the manager, not bothered with a waiter. You, know, you don't win with waiters or waitresses. You just, you know, go to the source, go directly to the source. Well, anyway, to make a long story short, he didn't bring us our bread. He brought me water with a little teeny black speck in it. I didn't say boo. Didn't drink it, but didn't say boo. He didn't even bring us our bread. I finally gra gra grabbed another waitress, because the bread in our back is that brown bread with the nice butter. Oh, it's yummy. Anyway, another waitress explained to me that he was probably busy with other customers, but that's something they do. They bring you your drinks. They bring you a loaf of bread. Then they usually take your order. Or they'll take your order, and if you're ordering a dinner, then you get your loaf of bread automatically. Irregardless, you just don't sit there with nothing for 15 minutes. But I, you know, it's all right. We had a lovely dinner, and I'll tell you, those steak flights that they have, which are either two or three, uh, three ounce pieces of uh, steak with different sauces to try on were very good. And I knew they would be. They were very, very good. And then for dessert, I only ate one. I ordered the one with two, and I only ate uh, one of them, and I got the other one home here. They were supposed to come. They come with a little fried potato patty underneath each steak, and then the sauce is over the steak. And they're supposed to come with green beans. Well, I love their green beans. They're al dente, and they're the whole beans. They're great. They're great. So anyway, they bring it to the table. I've got the steak. I got it mounted on the potato. And then there's a mound of french fries on my plate. Now, number one, I didn't order french fries. Number two, it comes with potato anyway. And it wasn't even our waiter that was delivering stuff, and I understand that. It's nice to get your food when it's ready and to have runners in the kitchen to bring it out. But when she put the plate in front of me, I said, where's the green beans? She said, oh, um, the cook must have made a mistake plating. Obviously, it comes with green beans, not french fries. I didn't ask for french fries. So, uh, Charlie lucked out like a bandit because he got all my french fries onto his plate and they brought me my green bean. Okay, then I had their cake pots and again they, you can get two or you can get three of them. Very good. I ate one, the cheesecake one, with a raspberry sauce. And the other one I got was a carrot cake one. I brought that home. I brought one whole piece of steak and the potato patty and half the green beans home. So I got another meal here. Or Charlie does. Somebody has another meal. <laughs> but it was a nice, it was a nice, the meal was very good. The service, mm, not so much. But I enjoyed it all in all, to make a long story short. Then I just have to show you what I've done. I'm kind of proud of myself. I did, these are my natural nails. And you notice, they're quite long. And I did a French tip, or French manicure, I don't know what they call that thing. But those are all, as I say, my, my nails. That's what drinking those good drinks, it has to be the good drinks and the the flaxseed, ground flaxseeds and stuff I'm eating because my nails don't usually grow long or stay hard for very long. They chip these. My nails I use, went to Dollar Tree, got their LA colors, got the white for the tips. 
got this natural color. Now, I did not purchase this today. I purchased it, I think, about two or three weeks ago, and I took off the packaging. So I have no idea what color it is. But it's obviously, it's a very, like, nude color. So it looks like the natural bed of my nails. And... Not a bad job for the first time. I don't think. You tell me. I don't think it looks too bad. And I'm kind of pleased because I, I like wearing nail polish, but I also like the natural look of my nails, and I can never keep the white parts white. So I thought, oh, well, we'll do. We'll do a French tip and see how that will work out. So... We'll keep track, and we will see how that works out. It took me a little while to do it. I put on the pink first and went up to my natural line that, you know, everybody has that you see before the tip of your nail starts to grow. And I did the pink up to that point, and then I just covered the top part with the white. Okay. Well, I think that's all for today. I hope you had a great weekend. I thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you real soon. Peace, hugs, and love. God bless. See you soon.